Certainly had to push the reset button on his career a little bit of late after back-to-back -back losses to Adesanya and Vittori, but he believes he is still destined for future UFC gold and glory. Feels like he has put in the training camp of his life, and he believes no matter where this contest goes tonight, he will have the upper hand. Oh, he blasted the kick to the midsection right there. Got it right below that elbow guard. And on the other side, for the boxer. Maybe need to lower that guard a little bit more. Well, you're at kicking range and not boxing range. So as he's landing damage, the boxer can't reach him with the punches. It's beautiful. And it shows how hard they work in building this game plan and this approach that has allowed for him to jump out in front. Touched him with the strike there. Getting it going yet again. This has got to be the scariest guy in the middle weight division right now. Belt around his waist or not. No decision victories as he enters the octagon here tonight, and it's easy to see why. So more output, at least in the early going. Oh, he got tagged something fierce there. Great combination. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Well, missed on that one. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Let me see that hook now. It's a clean punch. And everything's landing with so much power. Costa gets hit with that stiff jab there. Three minutes to go. Slips the punch. I wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Right on the button. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Choi. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Rips the body there. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Under two minutes in round one. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Choi's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Fighters separate from the clinch. Less than a minute to go in the round. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Costa. Bleeding now. Nasty cut on his nose. Certainly found the target. And yet another hook connected there by the Korean Super Bowl. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Fighter lands a left hand. Check, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, strike lands there, and somehow, oh, how about the end of that round? He got knocked down just before.
for the horn, saved by the bell. So now back to the stool. He has only 60 seconds to recover. We'll see if physically he can keep himself in this fight. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. Ready, fight. Ready. All right, round two. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. It's the elbow there. Right hook to the head block. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cup. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Big right hook coming at the block. Well, you gotta think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Oh, flying knee to the head! Now we're going! He's got him hurt. He's gotta start looking to finish. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. And now Leather being thrown. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of... Oh! And how much more can he take? All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many options. Oh, no! Back to the feet! He's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's really... Oh, man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. In position for a submission attempt here. Looks like it might be locked in. Once he gets you you got to be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in the game. Oh! 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 Holy. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get to the official decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 12 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super.
super boy du ho Choi. So the Korean super boy.